Hey lovelies, it's Energon AK Mr. Maya Saint and welcome to my video. So basically today I wanted to talk about this just briefly and I finally got the full collection um, which comes in this really really huge case and I can't even remember how to open it. So there's a zip at the top and the zip has this lovely black and white stripe uh, ribbon on it and the whole thing opens and then inside, and I'm really sorry for the glare, um, as these pockets. Right, so let's briefly talk about this. So basically, each of the individual miniature gorgeous girl stamps comes up. It's like a little rectangular packet, and in it you get one of the cling mount stamps and a matching card that is the same picture. Um, you get uh, 19 individual box ones. And then you can, as far as I'm aware, you can only get Ruby, which is number one. Um, as far as I'm aware, you can only get the Ruby stamp when you purchase this case. So it comes with this. So the individual stamps, um, I'm currently, people have said that they're in the range. Uh, I picked the majority of mine up at Hobbycraft and they were actually on sale. Well, I got them on sale and then I also had a voucher for there. So it worked out that they were like £1.75 for a stamp. <laughs> and if you know me that's an absolute bargain gorgeous girls is gorgeous obviously and uh, so now i have the entire full collection now i feel that this case is far too big for the stamps unless they're going to come out with another 20 to 30 of these sta of these um, stamps and you can buy the these sort of uh, high quality really nice pocket things for them and each pocket has like the image behind it and it also says like which number it is um what the stamp is so you could easily you know unless they bring more out more or they start making these pockets um for the larger stamps to be able to fit in here because there is just so much more room for an entire second set in my opinion so this isn't about this this is about this so i actually got two of the ruby cards and ignore this here and this here so i got two of the ruby cards with my ruby stamp i don't know if that was an accident or if it was on purpose or what so i purchased this and it was just a plain black uh credit card uh it holds 20 cards and i will put a link for where i got this in the description I think it was China, eBay, I got it on eBay anyway, um, and it was fairly inexpensive, and I took the, card, one, the one of the Ruby cards, a piece of the one of the box packaging, another piece of box packaging that says gorgeous, and I basically collaged this together and glued it together on a laminated piece, I then laminated it, I cut it out, I then laminated it again and cut that out, and then using, I think it was Yoohoo glue, I glued this onto here, is a really sturdy, very pretty um high quality cover front for this and then on the back i just cut out a piece of the packaging are we going to focus yeah i cut out a piece of the packaging label and another piece of the packaging here and i stuck those two together and that uh, poor man's laminated it with some sellotape and then um i just glued it on so this was actual laminating sheets on the back i just used sellotape because it was an afterthought and i'd already put my machine away and i couldn't bother to get it back out so what I did was I cut out each of the numbers from the boxes and I stuck that on the top part to whatever the, the image is. So let's see how well we can do this. So on the back of this I stuck number two, which is this one, and number three, which is this one, number four, and I figured this would just be a much simpler rather than having to get this big folder thing about with all the stamps and look through to see what stamps there are that this can just sit on my desk and I'll go oh I want to use one of my gorgeous girl stamps and have a look through to see if I want to use one of these miniature cling stamps uh, they're all absolutely gorgeous images and I just use this little credit card or card holder or um i think they have different names but this one fits 20 cards uh technically it fit i think it actually was like 
was it a 40 card? Because um, the idea is that you could fit two cards back to back maybe. But like I said, I'll put a link in the thing below. And that's that. So that's all of the cards in this really handy wallet thing. So I can make a little index. Plus I absolutely love Ruby. She's my favourite. And then I can just sit it on my desk back here. So let's lower you so you can see that. There you go. So that just sits on my desk back there and then I can grab, see it anytime I like and I can grab it and it's easy to get to. I do love how this looks like a suitcase, has been made to look like a suitcase. That is really quite cool in my opinion and I think the thing, the only thing that really bugs me about this miniature stamp collection is things like some of these images like this one, this one, I'm not entirely sure maybe this one. They're not actually in this collection. So, yeah. But I love that it's this fragile here. Um, uh, it's got like an airmail. Put you back up. An airmail trademark there. And then on the front, it's got like various airmail, uh, the brand, and yeah. So that's the full miniature collection. Uh, I haven't started collecting the larger ones yet. But I just thought I would share with you my sort of index idea that I had for using the cards. Uh, the idea is that you put the cards in the little plastic wallets, which they already have the images of the girls. It makes no sense to me. Well, no, because each stamp has the plastic. So it's not even to save the background from getting inky. Because if I just pull one out, um, maybe it's to stop like the this get transferring onto these backgrounds but I mean if you clean your stamps properly and look after your stamps properly that wouldn't happen anyway I might make some laminate acetate cut downs for that just to protect that just in case but I wouldn't want those collector's cards to because that's what they're named as they're named as collector's cards to get all inky and stuff so yeah but I love how this turned out I'm really, really pleased with it. it. Like, it took me a couple of hours um, to do and complete, but I absolutely love, love, love the way that it turned out. And um, yeah. So, and then I can always put a band around it if I wanted to, but to be honest, I just doesn't need it. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope this might have given you an idea of how you could possibly do that or do something similar if you wish to make some kind of index by stamping your stamps and then putting the stamped images into some kind of index system like that just for an easier access maybe i don't know anyway <laughs> thanks for watching bye